Welcome to Chatting the Pictures. My name is Kara Finnegan, and I'm a writer, teacher, and historian of photography. And I'm Michael Shaw. I'm a writer, a psychologist, and also publisher of Reading the Pictures. It's Climate Week in New York, keyed to major events during the opening week of the United Nations and in advance of the major environmental summit next month in Glasgow, which is why the activist group Extinction Rebellion brought its activism and unique brand of political theater to the streets. This and the other protest photos in the video were taken by photojournalist Steffi Keith. In the photo, you see activists from the group Extinction Rebellion holding a march and day of action to bring attention to the effects of the climate crisis after the release of a dire report by a United Nations Climate Agency. Extinction Rebellion is a group that uses image events, staging public spectacles like this, to draw attention to climate catastrophe, or what they are now calling climate death. And to me, this image nicely captures the dynamic of playful performance and dead seriousness of their events. So first, you've got the kind of vernacular homemade signage, right? The kind of handmade cardboard looking blue waves and the blue plastic, which perhaps represents water or flooding. Maybe it's meant to signal the way oceans are rising. Other images Keith made that day showed people not in blue, like we see them here, but in red. And there they were evoking fire imagery. So clearly the group is visually trying to articulate the dangers of flooding, fire, rising waters, rising temperatures as a way to invite us to think about climate catastrophe. And the man holding up the wave in the middle of this image, you know, he's looking right at us, the viewer, isn't and he's putting us in the position of having to answer his visual demand that we notice these things and that we pay attention. Steffi's edit really is compelling. There's another shot of a woman hoisted in a teepee with these giant logs, but the logs to me also evoke trees and forests that goes with the fire. There's another really interesting and strange shot in front of the New York Public Library, a kid with an angry sign decrying people dying in flooded ground floor apartments which is what we saw in New York. And then a woman dressed as a siren in the distance. It's all about risk and temptation. But as you said, it's also about how do you capture people's attention and focus when we're in such a dire situation? And I think that the Extinction Rebellion strategy is to do it with cleverness, with drama. I think they do it in a way where it's like not just street theater, not at this point, but it's really like almost making us feel like that reality has turned into like a Boonwell movie. These images and symbols they're no longer abstract. You know, we did see the streets and the subways in New York flooded just weeks ago from Hurricane Ida, which traveled up from the Gulf and created this disaster in the Northeast when nobody expected it. And it wasn't even predicted. We saw people drowning in cars and basements. So that look that this guy is shooting us contains all of that. I'm really struck by the textures in this image and particularly what looks like that blue plastic being used to depict waves or water. There's, of course, a nice irony there, right? Because you wouldn't expect environmentalists to be using what look like sheets of plastic. But plastic is accumulating in the ocean, which is dangerous pollution. And at the same time, there's also this sense that he is drowning, right? That he is flooding. So is he not coming up to look at us? He might be going down. This man's body appears to be wrapped in plastic. You see the the, the silhouette of his body through the plastic. And it's almost like you would wrap a corpse. And given the group's focus on the theme of death, right, they're calling it climate death. So this kind of playful spectacle has a very pointed, serious, dark edge to it. Maybe the plastic is a body bag. 